Hi, Steven here, and welcome to Worldview Outdoors. I've been wearing these alpaca wool sweaters for several years now, so it's about time I give you a review. So this video is going to be my review of three different styles of alpaca wool sweaters. Enjoy! One quick disclaimer for this video. I was not endorsed by alpaca to make these videos, and all the sweaters I have, I paid for with my own money. Just as a quick background, all of the alpaca sweaters are made from start to finish in Peru. They're dyed in the mountains of Arequipa, and they're all hand signed by the artisan women who made each sweater. The first hoodie for this review is known as the Vida. It's a special three paneled hoodie with a special V-neck design. And I've used this on most of my hikes. It's a unique tricolor knit blend. As far as the quality that's made out of, it's 50% alpaca and 50% polyester. Of course, you can use it with the hood or without a hood. Either way that you choose to use the hoodie. The sleeves are well fitting and they reach to the end of your hands, making for a profitable use of your income. The second style of sweater we're going to review is known as the hoodie. It's a special blend of 65% royal alpaca fiber and 35% recycled nylon. It fits and feels casual and is very functional. Like all the alpaca sweaters, it's odor resistant, soft as cashmere, and is thermoregulating. And of course, as a hoodie, you can wear it without the hood or with the hood. Both fit quite well. Our third and final sweater to review is known as the Crew. It's the same fiber content as the hoodie, 65% Royal Alpaca and 35% recy Recycled Nylon. However, it has the noticeable lacking hood. So let's begin our pros and cons of these three alpaca wool sweaters. I'll start first with the pros for the Vita hoodie that I'm wearing. Um, the first um, positive or plus for this hoodie is it's only $99. And alpaca always gives you a 10% discount off on all the products you purchase. So for the first positive for this hoodie, you have a, a very warm alpaca wool hoodie made over seas and it is surprisingly not very expensive and only $99. So that's my first pro for the alpaca wool hoodie, this version being the Vita. My second pro for the this Vita alpaca wool hoodie is that I know that by purchasing these hoodies I am supporting over 80 artisan women in the country of Peru and where income is challenging. I know that I am supporting artisans overseas and I'm supporting their livelihood. So that's my second pro for this Vita alpaca hoodie. My third pro for this Vita alpaca hoodie is it does fit surprisingly well for the many uses I've put it through and hiking and camping trips. It does serve its purpose and that in itself is a pro for purchasing this alpaca wool hoodie. On to now the hoodie, alpaca wool hoodie that I'm wearing. The first positive I have for it is actually it is available in multiple colors. So if you don't like this off-white grayish color that I'm wearing currently, you can actually buy it in a darker blue variety. It's a multicolor blend, but it does give you multiple options to be able to purchase this sweater. So for my first pro, it's has multiple color variations that you actually can purchase. My second pro for this hoodie, Apaka wool hoodie, is that it is an extremely warm version of alpaca wool. I've had this guy down in well into the teens with just a Coolmax fabric shirt underneath of it while hiking rather strenuously, of course, but it is a very warm alpaca wool hoodie. So you're definitely gonna get your money's worth um, for this hoodie, it is warm and it is worth the effort to wear and to purchase. So that's my second pro for this hoodie version of the alpaca wool hoodie. My third pro for the hoodie version of the alpaca wool hoodie is that it is well fitting. It's designed to be athletic. That's probably why it's my 
favorite of the three that I use on hiking trips. It fits well, it moves well, it's designed to be used out in the field and not laying in your closet or on a shelf. It is definitely designed to move, to wear, and to be athletic, and to cover lots of ground and to keep you warm. So that's my third pro for this version of the Alpacable hoodie. It's just its athletic fit is a welcome addition to this hoodie variety. And my third negative for this hoodie version of the Alpacable hoodie is the size of the hood. The previous review of the Vita, you notice it was a huge hood, but this version of the hoodie is actually smaller and it barely, barely covers the top of my head without my hat. So, it, so for me, that, that's my next negative for this hoodie is the size of the hood. Could be standard style, be a little bit bigger, but I do understand it's a one size fits all type hoods. My second negative of this hoodie version of the Alpacable hoodie is this V-neck shape they've got right here. It does take some time to get used to, as opposed to the V-neck shape of the Vita version of the Alpaca wool hoodie. So this V-neck shape can be uncomfortable at times, so it just takes some time getting used to. But for me, that shape there in the neck is my second negative for this hoodie version of the Alpaca wool hoodie. Okay, on to my negatives for this hoodie version of the Alpaca wool hoodie. It is the most expensive version of the hoodies that they sell. It's over $140 if you don't have the 10% discount. So it's definitely a, a negative for purchasing of this sweater. Of the three varieties that I have, it's the most expensive of the three. So that's my first negative, it's just the price of this alpaca wool hoodie. My first pro for the third design for the alpaca wool sweaters, this one being one called the Crew, is it's just about the same price as the Vita. So with the 10% discount they provide, it's just about the same price. And so that's my first pro is it's inexpensive price for this The Crew Alpaca Wool Hoodie. My second pro for this Alpaca Wool Hoodie, this one being the Crew design. My second pro is of course the fact that I'm supporting 80 plus artisan women in the country of Peru who are making these sweaters and hand signing their names to each one of them. So I know by purchasing these sweaters, I am supporting hardworking people in other countries. My third pro for this, the crew alpaca wool hoodie, even though it doesn't have a hood, it is still a very warm alpaca wool design. It's the same fabric mixture as the hoodie so it's warmer and has a higher alpaca wool content. So it does make it a warmer sweater to wear in the colder winter weather days. My first con or negative for this, the crew design for the alpaca wool hoodies is it does not have a hood. So if you're looking for a design of sweater that has a hood for extra warmth on a cold day, uh, this sweater does not have that design or addition to it. If you want the hood design, you need to purchase a different design for these alpaca wool hoodies, like a Vita or the hoodie. But this crew design does not have a hood. Well, this concludes our review of these three styles of alp alpaca wool sweater. If you like this video, don't forget to click that like button below and subscribe to our channel. See you on the trail.